Hi everyone, recently I built a gaming PC based on AMD technologies. I used in my build the CPU from AMD which is a Ryzen 7 5700G and I kept the stock cooler which is a race cooler that comes with the CPU. Unfortunately, when I stressed the CPU, the temperatures were getting too high. So I tested the CPU on Cinebench and the temperatures with the stock cooler were reaching 95 degrees and more. So I decided to purchase an advanced cooler. So this is from Cooler Master. This is the Cooler Master Hyper 212 RGB Black Edition. And I'm gonna install it now in my PC and hopefully it will bring the temperatures down. So in this video, I'm gonna show you what are the accessories that you need with this Cooler Master to be installed on an AMD AM4 motherboard and also I'm gonna show you how to install this CPU cooler and also at the end I'm gonna do a Cinebench test to see if the temperatures of the CPU with this new cooler will be less than the temperatures with the stock cooler which is the race cooler from AMD. So let's start first by showing you what are the accessories needed to install this CPU cooler on your AMD AM4 motherboard. So you will need the back plate and you need these screws to put on the back plate. I'm gonna show you how to do this. And you need these holders also, and these bolts, and you need this bolt head. This is temporary to tighten the bolts on the back plate. And you need these two small screws and these two brackets and the thermal paste. There still is two optional components. So this cable here is, if you need to install two fans on the heatsink, you can install this cable, so this goes into the motherboard's CPU fan header and this one, each one goes to one of the fans and this one here is if you want to change the lights of the RGB so this is the RGB controller you need to connect this small X connector to your power supply and then you need here to connect this one to this RGB controller and then you connect this one here to the controller and then you connect the CPU fans RGB connector to this one here and you control the RGB colors using this buttons. This is not the case for me because I will be connecting the CPU RGB connector directly to my motherboard and it will light up randomly so I don't need to control the lights. Let me start first by showing you how to assemble the back plate. So you need to put the back plate this way up. So how you know that you're gonna put it this way up? You have AMD written here. So make sure that AMD is facing up and then you need these four screws and these four also screw holders. So first you need to put the screws. You see here you have like an opening. So put the screw in the opening, make sure it goes all the way down and then push it to the left like this because this is an AM4 motherboard. In case you have an AMD motherboard that is not AM4, you need to push it up. But for me, it will be down and then you need to put this cover and for the screw not to move you can just hold it with your thumb down like this and then put the cover so I hold it like this and then push the cover in and notice how it is installed so it has here an opening and a key so it cannot move anymore and do this for the four extremities so now the back plate is assembled the next step is to install the brackets, these two brackets, on the CPU cooler. So to do this, you need to remove the fan. Just lift here this, like this, and then remove the fan. And now you need to install the brackets. You notice here on the contact surface of the CPU cooler, you have this label. You need to remove it. And once you remove it, do not touch the contact surface. And now. You see this indentation here on the brackets. It should be inside like this. And you hold it and then you get the small screw and you make sure the holes are aligned. And then you have this screw. Just put it here. And then you need to screw it in. So make sure it's tight. And now let's do the same for the second bracket. And now both are tight and they are installed. What we need to do now is to remove the stock CPU cooler. So first disconnect it from the motherboard. And then you need to remove the screws here. So you need to unscrew the screws. 
One thing that I need to mention here is that if your PC is standing up, when you remove the screws, there's a back plate on the motherboard that will fall out. So make sure that to hold it in case your PC is standing. But for me, my PC is flat, so the back plate will fall on the table. The back plate fell on the table, and now you need to remove the CPU cooler. So this here is the CPU and you need to clean it just with a simple wipe clean it slowly you need to remove the thermal paste so now it is really clean you need now to put the back plate let's turn the pc and i'm going to show you where to put the back plate so this is here the back of the motherboard and you notice the screws here so it needs to go like this here and now hold it with your hand and then while holding it with your hand, just put one of these bolts, put it first with your hand, and put one on the opposite side here. And now the back plate is in place, so let's put these other two here. You need to put them also with your hand, and then we're gonna tighten them. And now to tighten them, you see this head here, so you need to put it on each one of them like this and then tighten them so now they are tight and they are installed so let me now put the thermal paste on the cpu so the cpu is really clean now and this is the thermal paste that came with the cpu cooler so i'm gonna just put a pea size in the middle here so that's enough after you put the thermal paste, the next step is to install the CPU cooler without the fan so that you can tighten the screws here. So align it here with these bolts. So align the screws and once you put it, after you put the thermal paste, try not to move it anymore so that the thermal paste will have maximum contact. So align the screws with the holes and try not to move it anymore. And now let's tighten it. So tighten it diagonally always. You need to push a little bit because there's a spring on the screws. Do not over tighten it. As soon as the screw stops turning, just stop. So this is now the CPU cooler installed. Now we need to install the fan. The fan cables should be facing down and the fan should always face the memory in your PC. So it's very easy to install the fan. It has a clips here. Just align it and then push it from here. Push it firmly until it is in place. So now the fan is in place. And now we need to connect the fan connector and then the RGB connector. Notice on the RGB header here, you have a small arrow. So this is a small arrow. This should go on the plus 12 volts on the left. So here are the two cables connected. Now I'm starting the PC for the first time after installing the CPU cooler and it's working fine. So let's go test now the PC with Cinebench. So these here are the Cinebench results. I'm starting here with a stock cooler and as you notice the temperatures were reaching 95 degrees which is not good at all and also the fan was very noisy. It was trying to cool down the CPU but it couldn't and the Cinebench score here is 11,394. With the Cooler Master H212, it was a whole different story. So the temperatures were reaching maximum 75 degrees. So this is a 20 degrees gain, which is crazy. And also the fan was really very quiet. And the Cinebench score reached 11,508. So it also gained a little bit of speed. At the end, I'm going to say that this Cooler Master Hyper 212 RGB Black Edition is worth every penny and I highly recommend it. If you want to check it out, I have an Amazon affiliate link in the description below. I will gain a small percentage if you make a purchase using my link at no cost to you and this will help my channel greatly. I hope that you enjoyed this video and found it useful. If you did, please share it, subscribe to my channel and give this video a thumbs up. I would really appreciate it and this will help the channel greatly also. I'm Eloy and I want to thank you all for watching. See you on the next video.